Every fall, students prepare for the start of a new school year, but this back-to-school season is different than any in recent memory. So, Complex is linked up with three students to hear their stories and help them adjust during this uncertain time. One of these students is Anna, a theater and media arts major from the Bronx, heading to her first year of college at Cornell. You know, quarantine, when it started a few months ago, a lot of us thought it was just going to be a brief thing. Obviously, we were wrong. And then came the adjustment period, right, which is really different for everyone, depending on their home and their space. So what was that adjustment period like for you and your family? I always describe it as like it was a blessing in disguise because, yes, I asked the universe to give me more time before I left to college to just spend with my family. But I also didn't mean for just, you know, to be stuck at home. <laughs> Not that much time, right? Yeah, like that was a lot of time to be home. Um, it definitely brought my family closer together. And then over time, we started online remote learning. And that adjustment period was so crazy and hectic because I feel like my mom did not understand what it was like to do online learning. In a Hispanic household, when you're on your laptop all day, you're being unproductive. And so to her, it was like, you're not doing work. What are you doing? And I'm like, I'm doing work. We're, we're doing online work. That's the new thing. And so during that time period was when I actually got accepted on a full ride, loans free to Cornell <laughs> University. And that just brought me so much joy. It brought my family joy. My mom was crying. I can't imagine how hard you must have had to work for years to make that happen. So did you really appreciate that moment? And did you give yourself a pat on the back as you should have? It felt like I didn't deserve that one scholarship or like I didn't deserve to be accepted to an Ivy League because kids like me don't get those chances. I had this conversation with one of my supervisors and she was like, you literally deserve this. And she just like really highlighted things that I had done that I didn't even think that people remembered or cared for because I had never been acknowledged in that way. I really hope that you take that lesson away from this. I think a lot of smart young women like yourself, they beat themselves up like this. You put in all the work and at the end, you still don't feel like you deserve it. Every Everything that you achieve because you're going to achieve great things, you really take in those moments. That's amazing. Long term, ideally, after all this great performing arts training, what would you love to do? I really do see myself being on TV someday, whether it's a show and like having a platform where I could like tell the stories of like people in my community, whether it's like talking about undocumented families um, or, you know, the Bronx and the, what it's like to live in the Bronx but also like using that platform, you know, because I also love photography and, you know, putting everything that I love to do together to build that platform and, you know, represent people like myself. So it's always really important to have a creative outlet, especially when you feel really tired or stressed out. And it sounds like for you, photography is that thing. Has it always uh, made you feel sort of relaxed and at ease? During quarantine, I remember that I really relied on like photography as an escape for me. And so I remember I used to go to my roof and just take pictures and like I did a project where I documented my life in quarantine and it definitely is something that I think helped me cope with the transition. Tell me a little bit about what your college experience is going to be like the first semester. They're going to do a hybrid schedule, so half online, half in person, um, but we are allowed to have our dorms. As you're thinking about decorating your dorm for the fall, can you maybe close your eyes with me and imagine like what is the ideal space for you? It's very hard to visualize that, but when I do think about it, I think of a lot of pictures of just me and my family and me and my friends. And I've always wanted like fairy lights like everywhere. I want to feel like I'm in nature because mm -hmm. for me, nature is what I like. I like feeling kind of like liberated. And if there's too much going on, it makes me feel very like restricted and confined. I've been living in a very like confined space my whole life. I, in my household, we have like this Virgencita de Guadalupe. It's like a cultural image in Mexico that we hold very close to our hearts. And so that's the only thing that to me, I wanted to take to um, my dorm, but my, I don't, I'm not gonna take that away from my mom. So <laughs> I, I'm gonna leave it, but I'm hoping that like when I get to college, I'm able to like have my own little space where I could like feel more spiritually connected 
to her. You're looking for peace and calm after having yes. to share a space for so long. <laughs> I completely understand. I can already picture all of your photographs hanging on the wall and everything. And we're going to be able to work with Target and get you some really, really cool things for your dorm. I'm super, super excited for everything that's to come. Four years is going to go by super quick, but I'm looking forward to documenting it all. After talking to Anna, I started selecting some items for her on-campus dorm. But I also wanted to get some insight on what she might need to further pursue her passion for photography. Right now I'm checking in with our expert Raven B. So she's a photographer and she's taken some incredible tour photos of artists like Beyonce, Jay-Z and Future over the last few years. Now Raven, I'm a big fan of yours and I was hoping to get some advice on how we can help a student named Anna from the Bronx on our Space Love series. I'm super excited to help Anna. One, just because she's a woman of color from the Bronx and I feel like I was looking over her work and I saw a lot of myself in it. I'm wondering as a starter, what do you think a great camera option might be? Like something that's easy enough to use but can still take really great quality photos. Yeah, well, one, I always um, tell every single person I meet, it doesn't matter where they're starting or where they're at with photography, to like always buy within your budget, right? Like I think there's a lot of pressure to, sometimes with cameras um, about having the most expensive equipment, like that's gonna make a difference. And um, to be really transparent, I don't think it does. I think it's about your eye. I would say honestly that lenses is way more critical sometimes than the body. I would say like a good zoom lens, a 24 to 70 is always good to have and like an 85 is like the portrait lens. So it, it works really well in low light um, and she can have like a lot of versatility with it. And just like in layman's terms, you get like the blurry background and you get all that <laughs> stuff that like we like. In terms of just getting to know the different settings better, do you think the best move is just her experimenting with photos all the time? Should she read more, take some online classes? What would you suggest? I think that um, education is so critical, especially with our art, because I feel like even now I'm learning so many things that I didn't know that I wish I knew like five years ago when I was shooting other stuff. So I'm on YouTube a lot. Um, I'm on Skillshare a lot, like just taking little classes, whether it's like for retouching or just like learning about apertures or different um, camera settings. Um, and then I think trying things out as well. I think don't be afraid, especially on your free time, to try a lot of different techniques and experiment. Especially when you're a photographer and you're trying to figure out like your voice and your eye, you're only gonna learn that through like trial and error. So there's like no wrong way to learn, but I definitely think she has to push herself and um, get always get out of your comfort zone. Taking Raven's advice, I chose a camera package that Anna could build off of. As this is Anna's freshman year, I also selected some items that will not only be essential for her on-campus dorm, but also speaks to her need for a calm and peaceful environment. I looked up the things and there's a lot of like pastel colors and I love it so much. It's something that I think brings a lot of comfortability towards me and then I feel very at peace. And my room is pink, so overall like I really love the whole pink vibe and just feeling like kind of like chill and I'm super excited to just get to campus and start decorating. I cannot wait till I get to college and just like you know I'm in a new space. Um, there's been a lot going on here but I'm really really excited to just get there and start unpacking even though um, I am supposed to be only having a few things just like two luggages in a bag and that's actually pretty scary because I'm usually someone who packs like my whole life up like I just want to take everything with me and so it's gonna be pretty like overwhelming and scary just you know packing very lightly um, and then another thing is that once I get there I have to do a test and um, I have to quarantine for a day and that means that my mom isn't going to be able to just stay with me and help me decorate my dorm or my friend or like my siblings, which was something that I was really looking forward to the whole time. I really just wanted like my family there to help me decorate and like the whole moving process. They're just gonna have to drop me off and say goodbye. And so because of that, that's very like sad for me. What really stood out to me the most last time we spoke was how important it is uh, for you to like follow this passion that you have for photography. Oh my God, this is so exciting, hold up. The team at Complex did want to gift you with a new DSLR camera and a Polaroid because we want to see all of the amazing pictures you have to take. I never had like my own camera. Like I usually borrow my school's camera, my program's camera. I think it'll give me a great shot at just, you know, finding myself and finding what makes me who I am. I love that you always have such a positive energy no matter what's going on. I think that's gonna be really helpful as you go through this semester. What advice would you give to other freshmen who are worried about the upcoming school year? At the end of the day, like, 
we are the ones that are going to be telling the story later on and I feel like we shouldn't look back and be really extremely sad because of everything that was going on. We should be very happy that we were able to overcome all those obstacles because I'm, no, I'm not the only one and I know there's a lot of students out there that are going through the exact same thing that I am.